Vlog on, vlog it. Vlog on, vlog it. Vlog on, vlog it. Do it now. I want y'all to vlog on, vlog it. Yeah. So we're here. This is vlog on, vlog it. We're going to have a very interesting conversation right now with Cameron and Ori Brown, who are going to be talking about the double standards that men and women seem to have as far as what? Everything. Sex. Do you think there's a double standard between men and women when it comes to sex? And I mean, first of all, let's go into what you consider the double standards that women have to deal with when it comes to, you know, the different issues that that, that we're going to talk about today. What are your the, your, um, your perception of double standards? One of my big ones, I would say, would definitely be the double standard about sex. Um, the fact that if a guy has sex with multiple women, he's considered to be for in the men community, you know, a good guy. And a lot of women actually look at it as, okay, I wonder why he's getting so many women. I'm curious to see, so I actually want to have sex with him myself. So it's not even shunned upon when it comes to women, but if men, like if a woman has sex with a lot of men, she's a hoe, even from other women. She's okay. a hoe and promiscuous. So is that the only thing that there are double standards exist as far as you're no, concerned? No, there's double standards for everything. Okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna let's, let's deal with just the sexual okay. part of it alone. Um, how do you feel about that, um, Cameron? Is, is there a double standard? Definitely. Um, just to kind of reiterate, uh, I've heard that, seen the meme that the word slut is really just like a woman with a general man's morals. Um, I thought that quote was pretty funny when I saw it, and it, it holds up to be true. A lot of guys in their own circles, um, very braggadocious. You have times when you're talking about the things that you're doing, but if women, in that same circle did those things, they're viewed as, you know, out here or they're real loose or they're not, you know, in, don't have standards or low morals or in actuality, they're human just like men. So there's a double standard there. Everybody wants the same desires. The way we have to go about it seems different though. Okay, well here's the interesting thing now I want to ask both of you. Who is creating the double standard? Is it the men or is it the women that's creating the double standards? Um, it's a tough one because a lot of women do critique but yet they go back and say that it's a double standard but i feel that it is created and derived from men i feel that men actually created that double standard that women should know their place we should always have that innocence we don't need to be having sex with multiple men just one i feel that men actually created that is that what men are saying when 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 you know they want a woman to be you know, less. You know, we always want the traditional woman. We want the woman that's n not been with anybody, so that we can feel that we we have them, or that we're the only one that they're really concerned about. I have to argue that and say we didn't create. I said I don't think we created it because I think what creates it is what has supported it, and I think due to the fact that women are more emotional beings they they tie feelings into everything more they're a logical kind of person way more rational than men at times those decisions that they've made because a lot of times we can't enter into promiscuous activity without their permission um and i think just to put it out there a lot of ways women use that emotional key to kind of tie in validating why i'll give him a chance or why i'll sleep with him or why we're in this and later down the line look at okay what is this going to develop because they're already forward thinking when as a man we're living in the moment and we're, we're making the decision right then and there not thinking about the repercussions so we we validate it we both validate it um we both add to it but the creator of it i kind of got to leave up to 50 50. all right well ori um, you agree with that some somewhat what do you disagree with what you said <laughs> Uh, specifically. I, I think specifically I disagree with the 50-50 part. I, I definitely would put it more so 60, on 60-40? <laughs> um, way more higher percentage 80, than 20? Yes. I would wow. say 80-20. Um, I do feel that women have a lot to do with that, but I feel that for the most part, it's men. Like, okay, if I'm meeting him, he doesn't know that I'm having sex with Tom, Dick, Harry, whoever. You don't know that. You would only know that by word of mouth or me, you know, telling you. But if I was to tell you, you know, I date, I have sex with other guys, and you ask me, you know, how many guys do you have sex with? Mm, I'm currently dating about four, and I have sex with all of them. Not on a regular basis, but on occasions. What would be your perception of me at that point once I let you know that? Well, 
I was speaking the general perception, of course, you're taken back because it's like everyone uh, wants to think that they're the only person or they don't want to hear that you're in competition for as a man. You don't want to hear that you're in competition, fighting for attention, fighting for time, fighting for that sexual experience. So the perception, of course, is like, ooh, like she has a lot going on. Maybe I need to fall <laughs> back. Maybe, you know, where am I going to get in on this mix? But, but, but if question, a woman... Would that stop you from wanting to have sex with her, though? For no. a man, no. no. It, it doesn't stop at all. But taking me seriously, probably. Facts. Like me being yeah. potential wife, the mother of your Wifey. children. <laughs> right. But at the same time, if I didn't disclose that information, how would you Never know? Been. See that? So I don't understand. Like how? And then for women, if I was to be talking to my girlfriend right now, I would wish there was somebody else that I could reflect this off of and you know tell her I'm dating this guy and you know I've been dating this guy and that guy and this guy and she already knows I've had sex with all of them I mean she's not gonna be like girl you doing too much she's just gonna be like so which one do you like more what are you feeling are you serious yes wow because I feel like if you're in a relationship it's different if I'm in a relationship like say I'm really talking to somebody like mm. seriously talking to somebody and we talk regularly on a regular basis I, I don't so much feel the need to want to talk to other people or date other people because I'm more focused on him even if we don't have the status or the title of being in a relationship you know what I mean okay so so let's flip it though let's flip the same question you asked him right now let's flip it back to you if you right met a woman right you don't know her from Adams and she comes in and you find out that she's been sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry and da 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 this. Da. How would you feel about it? What would be your, your review, your honest review of that woman? Because that's what I mean, the double standard comes in a lot of times, I think, from women. Because y'all are so harsh when it comes to criticizing some, yourself. Some. Not all women, but some. So but how, what, I, would you, what would your, your take on that, that woman be? That wouldn't be my place to judge her. I know, but you, I don't we, know don't, we don't judge each other all the time. But It would have to, the only way in that situation that I can say that I can specifically judge her or say anything about her is if she's talking to someone I know. Like if she's talking to a guy friend that I know and I know that she's sleeping around with a lot of friends, I may be biased because I'm close to the guy and I'm Why? Or Why whatever, would you be but biased? Why would there to be bias about? I don't know. I guess just the protection factor. I'm prote I, I guess you're pro you're talking to other dudes and you're talking to somebody that I'm close to and you, you see, possibly hurting him. Guys don't do that though, no, do we? If you're sleeping around it's with a, a lot of girls, we're not gonna go and tell it say, you it's know, a code. It doesn't matter. I mean, I have a so, number of female friends that I've, you know, put on to people or told to date my friends, or I know this guy and they find him attractive. Once I put you onto him, whatever y'all do is what you do and he's gonna share about it and he may have like a small filter about what he's gonna share with what he's doing with other people, but I know what he's doing already. I knew that before I put you on. So it's it's no secret to me. It's just a code. Like, I'm not going to run back to my female friend and be like, oh, you really need to ease up on your feelings because, you know, this can get out of hand or he's really not taking it serious. It's just you, you have to find the information out for yourself because if I wasn't a middle factor, there would be none of that information to be shared. So I just remove myself from it. So who, who do you think would be quicker to call somebody a slut in a situation like that, a man or a woman? Man. Man calling who? A woman who a woman sleeps around sleeps with more around than one um, man. Oh, yeah. You think a man would be quicker to call a woman like that a slut versus a woman? I'm a man. I'm seeing it from my end. I see women do it more. Really? Yeah. Exactly. Dog, you a dog. You doing too much. You 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 popping out here. You a guy. You got too many. You got hoes. All of it. Like that's what we that's what we hear and we see. I don't really. No, but I'm talking about the woman. I'm not even talking about the man. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about a woman. Like who would call a woman? Who would be more oh, likely to call a woman a slut in a situation? where she's sleeping around with multiple more than one partners who would who would uh, who would who, who which group of 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 the two which of the two would call her so would it be the man or woman a man you said man change your percentage and this is a question really for everybody that's viewing this i want to hear your take because i don't think it's the men that would necessarily call a woman a slut in that situation see i think a lot of times men want women who sometimes have that experience so i wouldn't have a problem if i know you you've had multiple partners you know what i'm saying but i know how women are y'all are critical when it comes to each other oh that hoe oh yeah that slut she's fucking this one and that one and that man would be like yo i don't care you know what i mean maybe i could hit it too so <laughs> you're saying that 
but inside you still would not take her seriously. You mean, see, we're not no, talking I'm not talking about, about we're talking about the double, double standards. I don't feel that it's a double standard. Like, I feel that most women, honestly, if unless their feelings are attached, like, I only feel that a woman will critique another woman's business mm -hmm. if her feelings are attached to whoever she's speaking to. So if a guy brings up another woman and say, oh, I'm feeling what's her name, if she's attached to him and not maybe attached like they're in a relationship, but they're just friends, mm -hmm. she's going to be like, no, don't mess with her. She didn't have sex with about five dudes. She doesn't know her from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that she's going to be that critical. I don't think she'll really care. I feel like there has to be some type of mm -hmm. relationship attachment for her to really care or kind of comment. But let me ask you now, as a woman, how would you feel? About, would you take a man serious if you found out that he was doing multiple people? Would that be somebody that you'd want to have a serious relationship with? Uh, have a as a husband like because you know I hear that see, like as as a, as a jab to why uh, how how men would view women who are doing that and how it wouldn't be fair but how would you view a man who I is don't feel that it's fair that men view women um, that they feel are sluts or promiscuous mm -hmm. that they can't possibly change or be wife material I don't feel that that's fair but. I also, if I was to meet a guy that has sex with a lot of females, I wouldn't have a problem. Like, men change, and it all depends on the really? female that they're with. Yeah. You wouldn't care? I feel, no. Why? Like, you think that I feel you could that change if him? me and you, no, I'm not trying to change you, <laughs> but I do feel that if I am the right one, you will change. But I'm not trying to change you. But I do feel that if a guy wants to settle down with you, he'll settle down with you. But I don't feel he's always a hoe. <laughs> like everybody uses that once a hoe, always a hoe. Once he cheats, always a cheat. I don't believe in that. You don't believe in that, okay. I don't believe how in about that. I just you, believe brother? it's the person that you're with at the time. Cameron, how do you feel about that? Do you think that women honestly would view a man who they know has been sleeping around with multiple women? Would they still view that man as somebody to be with in a serious relationship? Hands down, yeah, I do. And I, and, I, and I think they do. They do do it all the so, time. So is that our double standard or their double standards? Are they like making exceptions for people who probably are, 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 are you know? I think women keep that, that availability and that open-mindedness, whereas guys, if we hear a number that, you know, we necessarily don't like, um, like you said, four partners previously, like if you hear a number like that and you're like, that's a little bit more, that's a lot. For women, they don't hear a number. They just hear, okay, he's involved elsewhere. They look at it like, if I had the confidence in myself, again, I would change that. <laughs> or I'm good, you know, I'll continue to be me. And if he so sees fit to be with me, then he'll pick me. Whereas men, we're like, for, mm, I don't like the eyes of that. You know, we're a number. We're, we're a very simple thing. Like, one or two, okay, four, mm, you're getting up there. Anything other than that, it's like, nah, we're not taking it serious. But I think it's a, it's a double standard because if women don't look at us like that, they don't say how many, they don't even ask how many, they really don't want to know. If you say that I just talked to someone else oh. or, or I go on dates, Do then... Do even ask a number these days? When you're I'm dating? going to, I'm going to posit this, right? That, and I don't want it to seem like, I'm just asking questions because I love this conversation, first of all. So I'm going to posit this, Ari. I think women... They may not ask the same questions or react to it the same way, but they do in a, in a sense because like How many women wanted to sleep with the guy who wasn't getting none who they know wasn't getting none nobody liked him Nobody was looking at him. It was a popular guy that everybody wanted that y'all wanted Just like even in, in the music business you take the rappers and the celebrities everybody wants them But they know everybody else wants them too. So you know, he's getting a lot of pussy But the guy who ain't getting none you're not looking at that that dude so is it really a double standard that, that you put on men or is it something that, that women, because men don't do the same thing. If we know you fucking around, we like, we mm, you know what I mean? We are looking for the one that, that probably isn't giving it up as much. Versus women seem to be attracted to, to who is the, sometimes the most popular. Is that, is that, is, am, I, am I wrong with that? I'm just saying, it's just an observation. Like, you know, because when I, when I was in high school, that's how it seemed to me. You know what I mean? Like the geeky guys, the guys that wasn't getting no play, women didn't care to look at them. They weren't attractive. Nowadays, I really don't think that it matters to a lot of women just being very blunt. Yeah. Like I don't feel if, I don't think they care if he's popular or a geeky guy. If they got money, I don't give a fuck. 
Like yeah, I feel but, that that's how a lot of women look at it. But that's days. shallow. That's kind of a shallow way to look at a person. Like I wouldn't want to look at you based on just like how much money you have or don't have because. But that's the reality. You may not be. Of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The reality is also if somebody's popular, more popular. Like you take take a rapper, any rapper, they get more. You know what I'm saying? Than right. the average Joe. And why? Because they're popular. Now, the, their popularity also says something about them. It says that a lot of women are attracted to them and they're probably getting a lot of, right? The guy who's not popular, he's Basically. not getting any. So you know that already. You're like, oh, this dude ain't getting under. You're not even looking at him. So, there goes my, my, my phone. I'm sorry. I wish we can we I hope we could continue this conversation because like <laughs> this is such a good topic to talk about and I'm sorry we kind of started late but um what do you guys think about that like as far as like what I'm saying with, with you know that that is a viewpoint I do think it depends on age it depends on what everybody looking for mm -hmm. at that time sometimes that that guy who is popping is a turn off because that woman has tried that for so long mm -hmm. so at that point, they're trying to do something different. They realize they need something different. And I think for men, they're, we never seek the person who is having a lot of partners. As a woman, we're always looking for the low key one, but as we also get older, we, we let up on a lot of that. And if we know someone's kind of been around or we know some people that they've been involved with, we kind of realize like it was that it was that time ago or that's in their past. And we try to give it a shot as well. I will say that men do try to give it a shot, even if they know that a person does have multiple partners and have had in the past. If they're feeling that person, then they're feeling them. They kind of let it go. It's just, it's just something that comes with age, I think. Um, Mm -hmm. But we're taught it at a young age the wrong way, I believe, and we carry that. Now, I don't have any problem with a woman who is sexually confident or, you know, who's making a, a conscious decision to, you know what I mean, to share herself with someone else. It doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes th those private uh, moments are best just to left, leave private because you, you, we see that they can basically skew people's opinions of us even though they have no idea about who we are because you know it's, to me as a man i think a lot of times women view sex as a thing where they're losing something you know what i mean i don't know is, is that a right is that an accurate perception um you're giving them something I and the guy is getting something a lot of women um, when you do have sex with a man because a lot of women use that as a controlling tool mm -hmm. I do feel that sometimes, depending on the case, you feel like you may be losing control of the situation or, okay, I just I just played my best card just now. What do mm. I do now? He didn't call me yesterday. He's not calling me now. What do I do? Exactly. So I feel, yeah. Okay. And, and a question now. What is wrong with the idea that you can have a different standard for yourself and I can have a different standard for myself? You know what I mean? Not that my standard should be better or viewed be better than, than yours. I mean, and I don't know if it's even my standard as a man. Because I think a lot of times it's just the society the way that um, we, we function in the society that we're in. So if a man views you as a woman and says, you know what, I'd rather you be more modest and be, you know, at, at, a, at a higher, he wants basically want to hold you at a higher standard. Now that standard might be like somewhat like um, condescending and somewhat like belittling because like he's restricting you, he's putting right. restrictions on you, and you're like, wait a second, why can you go and do whatever you want to do, and you want to put all this restriction? What if I want to put restrictions on you? I don't want a happen. man who is running around. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. No. The man can't be restri restricted. Feel, I feel that that's when marriages or relationships kind of separate. Because I feel that sometimes when men give women restrictions or, you know what, you're not going to disrespect my house. You can go out with your girls, but you're not walking in this house past two. But if they go out with their boys, come in at four, man, you tripping. Chill out. Chill out. But if I tell you, you cannot come in this house past two, who are you telling what to do? Do we do we accept um, that there are certain things that happen in the society that we live in that makes us function or, or have different roles in how we function with each other? Like we know that for the most part, as far when we go back into into history, you know, women have always been more of a nurturing 
side of like the you know the 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 the, 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 the relationship men are the hunters the gatherers the warriors you know what i mean they're they're always um go not that women weren't warriors too or doing stuff you know because you have lots of examples of women who were doing their thing but you know it's almost as if when you look at even in, into the animal kingdom the male in, in in the relationships are there as like somewhat protectors you think that's how that's probably where, where a lot of this is coming from like it's just like some kind of protection where he doesn't want you to to be you know exposed to anything that can hurt you psychologically physically or any anything like that. you don't see it like that